hello and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and this is an introduction to the Winter Wonderland. Basically, what's going on here and why should you care? Alright, so I'm here outside of Kronos or on Kronos outside of the Great Hall. As you can see, this lovely chair has appeared. This is Q. The Q you would know from Voyager as the son of the Q played by John Delancey. That is the Q we are dealing with. Alright, so, as you can see, he's sitting here in this lovely chair. This is where you find him for KDF. I will show where to find him for the feds in a couple minutes. So, if you wish to go to the Winter Wonderland, you would talk to Q and click on the I'd like to visit your winter wonderland. Alright, and once you go there, and I'll go ahead and take us over on a Fed tune because I do need to show you where to find him on the Federation side. So, let's switch to, here we go, switch to a Fed character. And do, 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 do. I'm on Deep Space Nine. Okay. So on a Federation character, you would find him. And here we go. Have to beam up into space because I need to transwarp. You would find him on. ESD, so I'm going to transwarp to the soul system. There we go. Alrighty. And load in. Come on. There. Alright. Internet's moving super fast today. And of course, need to dock at the station. Okay. And here we go, loading in. And there. Alright, so once you beam down to Earth Space Dock, you're going to go as if you're going to the exchange. And you can already see the big, large chair. And it looks like. Yes, we do get to see the bug. Q is sitting in the floor. As you can see him there. He is sitting in the floor instead of sitting on his chair. So, lovely bug, but does not stop us from interacting with the head of Q. And, see, you can do a couple things here. You can visit the Winter Wonderland. Or you can do the, are you as powerful as they say? And Q will turn you into a random creature. Now you can get him to turn you back by saying, really Q? And then, I'd like to visit your winter wonderland. So we visit Q's winter wonderland. Now why do we do this? Well, we'll find out in a second. As soon as it loads, there we are. So we're now in Q's Winter Wonderland. Aside from this being a lovely, nice place to visit, it looks pretty cheery, especially if you like a winter landscape. There are quite a few things to do. They have one, two, three, four, five different timed events. Okay? So you have Klingon Ice Fishing, which is going on right now. You have Cones of Conduct, Tide of Ice, and then twice in an hour you have the Competitive Race. Okay, so the Ice Fishing, the Cones of Conduct, the Tides of Ice, Tide of Ice, they give you winter commodities. Winter commodities are quite nice to have. You use those to buy the winter items, which I'll go into in a minute. The competitive race gives you 
the EPO tags, which you turn into this lovely EPO researcher over here. And you can use those to claim an EPO and then raise it up. And you can turn those in for marks of your choice. And that comes again from the competitive race. All right. So, pretty simple. The other reason that you can come to Q's Winter Wonderland is the Q is a genius. The race here. You see this brain behind the floating Q. This is where you come to do the fastest game on ice, which is the race that you need to run in order to claim your ship, your free ship for this winter event. Now this is not the character I'm doing it on. If you have multiple characters on an account, you do it on one character and it will unlock for all of them. So this is not the character that I'm running the race on. So I'm not going to run it right now. Now, the reason we go to collect Help. The, snowmen the are taking too kindly to our building a village yeah, in their cons of conduct. and they're planning an attack. Okay, so the reason that we want to collect the winter items is doo -doo -doo, there we go. That you can buy things from the winter store. Unmelting snowballs. Snowballs you can throw at people. They have fun little events, or little effects, and you can get unmelting snowballs that never melt for a very cheap cost. So you can see one of each of the, one of a few of the winter commodities. The frozen boots are probably the ones that are best well that are best known and these are usable anywhere as long as you are not in combat they cost 15 of the targ fur earmuffs 15 bullying candles 15 terran holiday ornaments and 15 vulcan meditation incense so for 15 of all of those you get the frosted boots which give you extra speed on uh, in when you're not in combat and then of course we have the what I call space Barbie items okay so this is anything that has been available in the past is available to purchase here for various amounts of the holiday ornaments including so these are things from the past as you can see and now you can see the new items the festive holiday sweaters and you can see there are quite a few available for 10 each and then there's of course the previous items that are available that people have been waiting for there's also ground equipment now it's important to note that in the Winter Wonderland your normal weapons will not work. They will not kill your enemies. You have to get the winter weapons. So these are things like the Caramel Assault, Candy Cane Batleth, the Lollipop Lirpa, the Swordfish, the Red Swordfish, the Snowblower, Hail, the big one, flurry, avalanche, freezing mist, and impaler. Now all of these are analogs of weapons that are in the normal world. Alright, then we have the nanopulse edge batleth, the enhanced nanopulse edge batleth, we have blue, we have red, we have the nanopulse edge lerpa, 
These are basically energy weapons that are masquerading as melee weapons. And these are, of course, all available with winter items. Okay, and then we have the some of the Q's Ornament Shaved Ice Gateway, Shaved Ice Flurry, Turrets, Snowball Mortar, Explosive Gumdrops, Avalanche, etc., etc., etc. Okay, and then we have a few other things. The once you get into the kit modules, these are usable anytime, even when you leave the Wonderland. Okay, and freeze bomb. So we have cryo grenade, the cryonic pulse which is new, the freeze armor, which is also new, cryonic warhead, which is new, and the training manual for yourself, cryonic pulse one, two, or three, freeze armor one, two, and three, micro cryonic warhead one, two, and three, and then you have, of course, the vanity pets that you can buy, and then of course there's the cryoplasma infused warp core. Now this is an interesting warp core. It definitely has some EPS. It will finish off the set for the Breen set. So if you're looking to do that, it's definitely a good warp core. It's yeah, it is interesting. It's not terrible especially if, if you've got nothing else to use. And then of course the Singularity Core. Okay, and then there's of course the previous training manuals. Endothermic Inhibitor Beam, which again, not terrible. All right, so these are all the items from the Winter Event Store, which you would need to come and unlock the winter event store if you have not done it before and you need to of course earn winter event items so there's a few ways to do that we're not going to do anything with the race coordinator but check out my other winter wonderland themed teachers corners to learn what you can do to earn those winter those uh winter commodities and i will see you there